So my name is Nova Paris, um, born in Darwin on Larrakia country. Love sports so much so that I went on to win a few international gold medals. Spent three years promoting the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Child Health Check and Adult Health Check, which is working with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander medical services. So it was during that time I really felt there's a huge problem and I saw it firsthand. I am Jason Brian King. I'm an Aboriginal man, the Gunditjmara of Western Victoria and the Nagario from southern New South Wales into northeastern Victoria. Uh, I've worked in Aboriginal health for around about the 10 year mark and then the last five I'm working in natural resources management within the state government of Victoria in water and now in the resources sector. And I'm turning 50 this year. So as an Aboriginal man, my health <laughs> diagnosis that I've had is from depression through to um, generic uh, generic heart conditions or um, blood pressure, overweight, stress, hypertension. Back in 1991, my father was 40, died of a massive coronary, his left ventricle lifted off his heart. And then uh, just five years ago, my little brother died of, at 40 with a heart attack. So diabetes for me has only been diagnosed in the last uh, three years. When you look at Aboriginal people as us, as the oldest collective race, the oldest surviving race, we're also the fastest dying race. Um, and we're dying from things like chronic diseases, obesity, diabetes, liver failure, kidney failure, all these things that are all curable and preventable. So having, a, having an organisation that can help with weight management is key to any community getting their weight on board. So my name's Nathan Gavani. I'm trained as a dietitian um, with a background in exercise physiology as well. I run and founded Lifestyle Breakthrough, which is a holistic practice working around endocrinology, dietitians, exercise physiologists. When we were looking through the regional and rural statistics and trying to improve those rates through, um, you know, the, around Australia, around weight management and diabetes care, um, it really stood out the disparity that we've got through the Aboriginal communities with their diabetic rates and, and obesity rates. The impact that that has on their lives their life expectancy is, is dramatically lower um, and it's really disheartening to see. There needs to be a whole shift in how we look at helping Aboriginal people through you know, Lifestyle Breakthrough, that's what we're giving. Lifestyle Breakthrough is a bit different whereas they're actually looking at the holistic health of you as an individual and I think that uh, they help with that stuff. Well the, one of the main benefits as well, um, apart from better health equality for Aboriginal people is there's no cost to the clinic. There's no cost to the doctor. In fact, it is a win-win for everyone. If we can start with better medical help, that is a big factor in trying to, you know, help Aboriginal people live longer.